live and in living stereo and 3D. It's the Etc. Show with Paul Pease. How are you guys doing today? This happens to be episode 24, termed Wiki Weapons in God We Trust and Other Think Tanks. Coffee, sponsored by Rudolph. I love Rudolph. One of the best Christmas cartoons. All right, guys, let's get started. I wasn't entirely sure what I was exactly going to be able to talk about today until I happened to come across something in Yahoo News early this morning with a tagline of 3D guns, question mark. And I'm like, what? So I scrolled in onto this, and I discovered something that I really didn't even know existed. And I, I mean, I'm a man of electronics. You know, I, I do like to keep up on this stuff, but even I was ignorant on this piece it turns out that there is new printers out on the marketplace that are 3D printers. Now, what these 3D printers can do is you go off and insert schematics, okay, plans, workable plans into the 3D printer. And that 3D printer within, I'm assuming, minutes, maybe, I don't know, maybe no more than 30 minutes, will conceptualize and make the object that the plans were from. So what do I mean by this bit? Well, supposedly you can make 3D guns off of a 3D printer. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, huh? How can you do this bit? First of all, let's go into the cost factor of a 3D printer. Currently, right now, in September 2012, the market value on a 3D printer is about $500. Okay, 500 bucks to get a 3D printer. Now, for this 3D printer, there is, you know, it's, you know how you have ink printers and you have ink cartridges, right? Well, on a 3D printer, I guess, there is something called a spool of ABS plastic. That'd be like your cartridge for the 3D printer. That goes for around 50 bucks. And then, of course, depending on your online or in-shopping experience, you can get 38 special ammo for about 30 cents a round. That's right. So basically, you can get all your little tools to make a 3D gun for about, oh, I don't know, 550, 560 bucks. Check online. Prices may be cheaper. Rates will apply. So, uh, and so you got those things, right? And then you're sitting here going, well, wait a minute, you know, that's great that I have all the parts to the 3D thing, but I don't have no plans, you know, Paul, where do you get the plans? Well, it's kind of interesting because once again, I didn't know about this website. There is a website out there called Thingiverse. That's T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E. Thingiverse. So, you can go there and actually not only get working gun plans, but also plans for toys, jewelry, tools, and design parts. Oh, and here's another one for you, too. They actually, in June, test-fired some of these 3D guns, and they worked. Mm -hmm, that's right, they worked. Now, of course, if you think about it, there's going to be some uh, legal ramifications out of this bit. One is, you know, hey, guess what? I got a 3D gun now. I don't need a license to carry or a license to own. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing is, uh, well, Jane Doe got shot to death. We can figure out it's it's this type of an ammo, but, you know, the only gun we found on the crime scene was this gun with no serial number on it. There's not it's not on there. We can't we can't pin Joe X for being the murderer because we don't have a serial number to trace back to Joe X. And maybe Joe X didn't do it. Maybe it was Jane Doe's ex John Frankie or Tony or yeah, any of them other crime families. No, I'm kidding. Could have been a pissed off sister for all we know. But, 
the point is there could be a lot of legal ramifications on this entire bit. Uh, law enforcement agencies are up in arms about this. I will tell you this, uh, I am a pro Second Amendment right to arm bears. No, no, I, I know. The bears already have enough ammo. I'm talking about right to bear arms. And uh, I'm not talking about, hey, Susie, here's my tan. No, 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 no. We're talking, we're talking to any firearms pretty much, okay? Because we've got to protect ourselves. You know, we are allowed in the Constitution to be able to protect our homesteads. And that's an important thing. I'm sorry. Uh, the government tries to take away that, I think, personally every day. That's wrong. It's just plain wrong, and that's all there is to it. So, to go from that to another little thing, you know, I'm, this whole election, i got to confess, election years are starting to tick me off because it's all this mudslinging back and forth, back and forth, and half of it's non-issue stuff, okay? So what do I mean by that? Well, supposedly Romney, yeah, we're talking about Mitt Romney here, the Republican presidential candidate, went off and he's claiming that the Democrats are going to take the phrase, in God we trust, off of the money, that we have here in this country. Now, the Democrats, of course, are denying this, and, you know, no surprise there, but a representative for Obama claims the president, quote, believes as much that God should be taken off of a coin as he does that aliens will attack Florida. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Kind of questions the credibility of that statement a little, doesn't it? Because uh, if you think about it, ladies and gentlemen, Florida, it, probably up to 50% of the population, is what? Illegal aliens from Cuba and Latin American countries. Illegal aliens. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, yeah. I, in other words, it's... Uh, they already have invaded Florida and a whole bunch of other country, uh, states and countries and, and things like that. No, that wasn't a racist comment. Just going off and stating probable facts. So, uh, the point is, is, you know, God is God helped to find found our country. He did. Uh, and uh, through, through men of Christian and uh, similar means. And um, also... Uh, the thing is, is that, you know, we were started, basically, as, remember, as an English colony, and the king decided that he wanted more control, blah, blah, blah. Needless to say, you know, they taxed us to death and everything else, and we did what we were supposed to do, right? Well, in 2012, 200 and almost 40 years later, seems like the situation has come back full circle. We're overtaxed. Our liberties and rights are getting taken away slowly but surely and hidden secretive means. I don't know, guys. I'm just saying we need to stop this. So be awake, be aware. Hopefully next time I will not be on my political soapbox. Uh, I don't know. Go be creative. Go make some 3D thing. Not a gun, please. And uh, take care. God bless. And love you all. See you next week. Grrr.